squirming on the horizon. The words are stripping the power. The moon is out, everyone's in dreamland, and you've tuned into the dead of night. Hello there. How you been? Welcome to Kilpatrick 24-Hour Bail Bonds. My name's Arthur Kilpatrick. How can I help you? Looks like somebody's been waiting in the queue quite a while to speak to yours truly. So, caller, why aren't you... Yep, sure do. I'm a third-generation bondsman. Got a few employees, but I handle most every aspect of the business. Tripping crickets are keeping you up, or... I gotta have a few other bondsmen to keep the place open 24 hours, plus a bounty hunter. I pull the graveyard shift because that's when all the crazy shit happens in Santa Monica. <laughs> well, my business ain't bad, I can tell you that much. Santa Monica's gone downhill. Used to be pretty nice, I guess. We do a higher volume now than we did a few years ago, but we gotta deal with a lot more bail jumpers and crap like that. Hell yeah. I ain't complaining. I'm in a good position to watch it all just slide right down the tubes. You know what I mean? So you never sleep at night. You betcha. I used to do some bounty hunting back in the day. Takes a good solid set of brass balls. Uh, pardon the expression, Missy, but it takes balls to be a good bounty hunter. Yep, damn good. His name's Carson, and he's great at what he does when he wants to do it. I can't seem to find him now, though. He's pissing me off, to be honest. I need him to go find someone. Well, I don't feel right cutting Carson loose just yet. We go way back. I knew his father, too. Tell you what, since I'm stuck here, why don't you go look for him? Just real quick. I'll pay you for your time. Great, great. I suppose the first place you should look is his apartment in Santa Monica Suites. Apartment 1, I think it is. Maybe you'll find something there to let you know where he's got himself to. Here's a key card. That'll let you in. I went downtown to get my fix. When I went up to the top of the tower, I could hear LaCroix shouting from down the hall. Seems pretty disturbed about the sarcophagus business. Glad I'm not wrapped up in it. Anything I can do for you tonight? Concerning? Who exactly? Nines? I never actually met him. But I've been hearing about him for years. His operation's crude, but those Anarchs are mad dog vicious when they need to be. City's full of them. They're none too friendly with the Camarilla, so be careful around them.
The uh, McGee case is getting weirder all the time. I found where he's been hiding and I saw some really creepy stuff down there. There was uh, no sign of McGee. I'm going to follow up on another lead I got, too. I updated the files on the computer. Uh, this is Carson signing off. Man, that sounds stupid.
Well, I'm not sure. I had an appointment with him a few days ago, but he never seemed to show up. <laughs> Do you know when he'll return? Well, Mr. McGee was going to be doing some modeling for me. Medical reference for the work that I do here in the studio. It's a shame, really. The proposition would have been quite lucrative for him. Why, yes, that sounds delightful. Perhaps you could come down to my studio and we can sort out the details. I'm at the end of Main Street, small basement studio. The sign says Gimbal's Prosthetics. Just ring the buzzer and I'll let you in. Hello! Welcome to Gimbal's Prosthetics and Medical Supplies. You're here for the modeling job? Good, good. You seem to have rather well-developed limbs, if you don't mind me saying so. Oh, yes, forgive me. My name is Gimbal. Stanley Gimbal. But, oh, dear, let us dispense with formalities. You can call me Stan. Aha! An eager participant! Very good. Just give me a few moments to get my equipment ready, and then come on in and we'll get started. You gotta get me out of here, man. This guy's a freaking nut job. Who, Gimbal? Yeah, Gimbal. That guy's been taking pieces off of me and McGee over here for the last three days. He's crazy, man. Freaking crazy. What are you doing here? Thanks, man. 
You're a lifesaver. I wasn't sure I was going to make it. I'm telling you, I've been on some weird cases, but this one takes the cake. Yeah, yeah, that's me. How did you know? He did? Oh man, that's solid. I owe that guy big. I hope I can figure out a way to get him back for this. What? Oh no man, no, no, no. Not for me anymore. Look at my hand! Gimbal took my trigger finger for a trophy. I'm all through with this business. I hate to leave Arthur in a lurch, but that's just the way it is. Thanks again. Don't worry, I'll take care of old Stumpy here. It's not my problem. The bones of your ancestors will rise up and reclaim the flesh that they left. The moon is out, everyone's in dreamland, and you've tuned into the dead of night. Nobody to fall asleep next to? What's shaking? Oh, pull the radio into bed. That's what I'm here for. And hey, why what? Me ain't coming back? What do you mean he ain't coming back? Looks like somebody's been waiting in the queue quite a while to speak to yours truly. So, caller, why aren't you asleep? Uh, uh, insects. Insects? As in you have an insect problem? Man, that's a tough one. Bounty hunter ain't no good without his trigger finger. Well, hell, that really leaves me in hot water, boy. Gonna cost old Arthur real good. I got this guy with a sheet a mile long, put in on three warrants. His girlfriend put up for the bond, and now he missed the court date. I can't get in touch with either of them. Want a job? Well, it won't be much of a job since you ain't licensed and all, but until I can get me another bounty hunter, I need you to find out if this guy skipped town or what. Yeah, no body yeah, attachment or nothing. Just find out if he's here or where he went. I'll pay you. Deal? So, you never sleep at night. I assume you do sleep. Great, right? great, all right. The guy's name is Mike Durbin. Goes by the name Muddy. His girlfriend put up for his bond. She lives over there above Tripp's pawn shop. Her name is Marion Murrieta, but I haven't been able to get in touch with her. Oh, boy. Let's see who else we got. Caller. What do you do for a living? I'm Roger. Okay, and what do you do, Roger? Um, I'm a writer, Deb. So, have you written any of movies I might have seen? Well, I actually haven't finished any screenplays yet. I see. So, have you done any other kinds of writing? Well, just some outlines right now, but... Well, he was brought up on manslaughter charges years back, but he got acquitted. Since then, he's so, been in and out for this and that, small-time stuff, mostly. A writer. Because I once fixed my toilet doesn't make me a plumber, right? Most recently, he was brought in as part of a big case on stolen auto parts. It's this big chop shop thing that's going on in Santa Monica. Been in the paper. Do you mean yourself something you're not, 
That's right, Mary Ann Murrieta, in them crappy places above the pawn shop. Find out where the hell Muddy is, where is he going, whatever. But be careful, you're not licensed, and if anything bad goes down, I don't know you. You hear me? And would you please state what you do for a living? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, here you are. Do you eat a lot of screenplays? All right, come back when you got some info. Thanks in advance.